While there are a number of factors, plugins are often a big cause of a slow loading website. And that's why here I want to help you identify these specific plugins that are slowing down your website. Plus, I want to look at nine ways that you can keep your website running quickly when it comes to plugins, even if you decide you need a higher number of plugins. Now, in my next video, I am going to be sharing some of the most popular plugins that I see so many people using that they really shouldn't be. And we'll also be looking at specific alternatives to those plugins so that you can still get the same great features without it slowing down your website. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. All right, let's dive in. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look for plugins that are adding CSS or JavaScript files because those do tend to slow down your website. Now, I will note that if you are new to this, anything looks confusing, I'm going to simplify it and show you how to get straight to what the problem could be here. So don't worry. What we're going to do is we are first going to use Chrome developer tools. Now, of course, you're going to need to use the Chrome browser for this. And what you can do is you can click Control, Shift, and I on your keyboard, and it's going to bring up a browser like this. Now, if you're using a Mac, it might be different, but you can select the menu in Chrome and you can go to More Tools and Developer Tools. It'll bring you to the same spot. Now, what we're looking for here is the coverage tab down below. If you don't see it, don't panic. Over here in the menu, it'll appear here, and just simply clicking it will bring it out here, like you see on the screen. Now, if you don't see anything here, you'll see this little record button. We're going to go ahead and want to click on that. So what this is going to do is it's going to start gathering information here for you. And while this looks complex, we're just going to use one piece. We're just trying to get specifically to the plugins that could be causing an issue. So we have a few different columns here. The first is the URL. That is simply the resource that is being scanned here. The type, is this a JavaScript file? Is this a CSS file? The total bytes is the size there. So we can see right now it is sorted by size if yours isn't sorted by size. We want to see what are the biggest offenders here. And then unused bytes is exactly what it sounds like. It, the number of bytes that are unused. And then it gives you a visualization. So we're going to have some red in each and green in each. So the red represents the unused bytes and the green represents the used bytes. So we're looking at the biggest offenders on this list here. And if we go over, we see it is WP content plugin. So it is a plugin rev slider. I think the name of that is Revolution Slider, I believe. Um, but that gives us our first clue is to a plugin that can be slowing us down here. So I'm going to show you here in a minute some of the things that you can do because sometimes you need to uninstall it. You need to look for alternative, but there's other things that you can do here uh, depending on the plugin and what you're going to be using it for. We also see that we have identified a theme here, the B theme. We see that appearing multiple times. So this is where they may need to use a different theme if they want to speed up their website a bit. But right now we're focusing on the plugins. So that has given us a little bit of a clue there. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to our WordPress dashboard and we're going to install. I know, I know I'm asking you to install a plugin, but you don't have to keep it there. We are going to be installing the plugin WP Optimize. Okay, so I have just installed this. It's a free version. You don't need the premium version right now, even though the premium version does have some, some cool features that let you clean up more of the database, do some things with images, help you identify what's slowing down the website. But right now we're just looking at plugins. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go over to the tables section here and you can see we have all of this different information. So if we click on overhead, we can sort it by what's taking up the most space. So overhead is really just kind of waste. Um, and so I can see some things like posts, for instance, and that's for another video of how we can go about cleaning that up with WP Optimize. But we can see here, this one doesn't have the size, so I'm not worried about it, but it's talking about plugins and then it gives a specific name of a plugin. So we can kind of look here. We have a redirection plugin. We have word fence here. Um, another thing that you'll want to do here with this plugin uh, while you have it installed is you, this is looking at your database tables. And so we've identified a plugin modern events calendar that is not installed on this website. So we don't want to keep that. It's not clean on this website so we can go ahead and remove Move it. And if we scroll, we see that we have a bunch more of these here that are not installed. We don't need it. It's just taking up space. So that's kind of a little extra thing that you can do there to keep your website clean. 
but do not do anything to your website, to adding plugins, um, deleting the plugins, deleting database uh, files or, or tables, um, unless you have taken a full backup of your website. By full backup, I mean your files and your database. If you've never done it before, you don't know where to start, I have created a video step-by-step -step showing you how to use a plugin to be able to do that, so you don't have to do anything fancy, you don't have to have a lot of knowledge of this, so I'll link to that below as well. But then once you install that plugin, go uninstall that one too. Normally, I don't run into any issues, but it's always good to have that backup just in case. Now, another resource that many people don't know about is called WP Hive. And basically, there's a couple of ways to use this. The first is you scroll down here and you can simply type in the name of the plugin. Maybe this is a plugin that you have installed. Maybe this is one that you're researching. So let's try Elementor and we can go in here and click on it and it's going to give us all the information on it. So it says the plugin has some issues. A couple of things that we're looking for for any plugin. Does it have an impact on memory usage? This one does. Does it have an impact on page speed? It says this one doesn't. Those are the biggest two things that you're looking for. But ideally, you want one that has all green check marks and none of these red ones. But overall, this is some really helpful information that you cannot find when you're trying to install plugins otherwise. So it's really helpful. Now, as it's indicating here, they also have a Chrome plugin. So again, of course, you need to use Chrome. You install this free plugin, but here's what this does. When you go over to the WordPress plugin, directory. You can simply click on any plugin here. We'll go with the events calendar because that was there. And it pushes all the information down on the right hand side and it puts up this insights box for you. And this is going to tell you, does it have memory usage? Well, yes, it does. Page speed, no, but it has some of these other issues uh, here. So that can send you looking for some alternatives. Uh, the same if you wanted to type in, let's say I'm looking for a social sharing plugin. I'm going to go here, I'll just click on the first one that comes up. We see that it has 100,000 active installs. So we might think, oh, it was last updated a week ago. This is an active plugin, good plugin. But we see it has a page speed issue and had some problems during testing. So we can go compare that plugin. Uh, we can look for more insights over on WP Hive about it to gather some more info. But this is a good way to kind of see the plugins that you have and which ones may be having some issues as well. You can look it up in the WP plugin directory or right there on WP Hive. So after these few steps, here are some things that you can do to really speed up your website when you're using plugins, because it's not really about the number of plugins that you have. I, I won't, I wouldn't keep excess plugins just because you can and they're lightweight, but it is about the quality of those plugins, how lightweight they are as well. So the first thing is to go over to your WordPress dashboard, go to the plugins and take a look at all of the plugins. Do you have any that are deactivated that you no longer use? Delete them. Do you have any that are still active that you no longer use? Maybe they were used one time. Delete them. Maybe, for instance, you looked at my video on Updraft Plus, you learned how to take a full backup of your website, you took the backup, you finished the whole process, and now you're done with it. You can delete the plugin so it's not sitting there using up any resources on, on your website there. Now, the other alternative is to look at WP Hive and run some tests here on some of the different plugins. And you can go compare. So if you have a particular plugin and you want to compare it to another one, you can simply put those in and compare or just look them up individually and see which one is better. So you can get one that's not in negatively impacting your memory or your page speed here. Now, another thing that you want to do is when you go into any of your plugin settings, this works with themes, um, for instance, like I use Generate Press, go in and make sure that you have deactivated any of the features that you are not using in your plugins because what's happening is it's, it's adding those resources to your website. So especially if you have a multifunctional uh, plugin, one that has lots of settings, you're not using all of them. Now, here's another really neat option that you can use. This is, yes, another plugin, but it's okay. This one's lightweight too. This is called Perf Matters. And what you can do is this will actually let you, let's say for instance, you have a contact form installed. But what happens is your plugin is running the script for that contact plugin on all pages across your website, but you only need that form on your contact page. So what it is going to allow you to do is select that you only want that to run on your contact page and it then will not load on all of the other pages. So this is a really helpful way of being able to 
to cheat a little bit, keep the plugin that you want, but make sure the scripts aren't running where it's not needed. Now also recommend that you use a content delivery network like Cloudflare, for instance, even using their free plan. And what this will let you do is sometimes you're able to use some of the features of the Cloudflare plan instead of installing another plugin on your website. So for instance, let's say you are working on image optimization. Instead of installing another plugin on your website, you can use image optimization on Cloudflare, and then that way you don't have to install another plugin or potentially a heavy plugin on your website, which could slow it down. Now I will recommend one particular plugin, and this is because I see a lot of people use SEO plugins. Uh, you don't need an SEO plugin, but if you find it helpful, uh, you find that you use a lot of the features in uh, these SEO plugins, you can absolutely have one. And the one that I would recommend is Rank Math SEO, and I would definitely recommend that over Yoast, uh, that definitely does run faster. Now, it is a multifunctional plugin. There are a lot of features in it, um, but you'll probably be using a lot of them. What I find is sometimes people actually try to just use one redirect plugin and one plugin for uh, checking broken links and so forth. And if they just use that one plugin, it would use less resources than all of the individual plugins. So sometimes in cases like that, it can make sense, but you still want to go in and you want to actually turn off the features that you're not using. Heading back over to WP Hive here, if you are considering a plugin, you want to add a new feature to your website. Don't just go to the WordPress directory and add something. Oh, it looks like it's good, has good reviews, has a million installs actually take the time to pop it into WP Hive. Make sure that it's actually not slowing down your website and go ahead and do a speed test before you install it and do a speed test after. See if it's actually impacting your site negatively at all. And the last recommendation I have for you, which will counter what I just said about rank math a bit, is whenever possible, if you need a single function on your website, look for a plugin that just offers that single function. Don't add a plugin that has multiple functions when you really only need one of them whenever possible. So I really hope this gives you much better insight into figuring out which plugins to actually get rid of on your website, how to use them better so it doesn't slow down the performance of your website, and how to start choosing better plugins as well. So as I mentioned at the beginning, don't forget to subscribe. We'll be talking about some of the most popular plugins out there, the ones with hundreds of thousands, even millions of downloads, but you got to be careful using those on your website, especially if you care about your performance. All right. Thank you so much for spending your time here with me and I'll catch you on the next one.